going to be talking about Covert Cloak and what it does and what it does not do in the upcoming game. So if you're a competitively minded Pokemon player, this might be really helpful for you, so stick around so I can explain to you everything this thing does and some ways in which you can use this item. So. What does this item do? Uh, according to Pokemon.com, this says, This hooded cloak conceals the holder, protecting it from additional effects of moves. So, what are additional effects of moves? Well, there's one other ability in this game that talks about additional effects and nullifying them, and that would be the ability Sheer Force. So if we look at the Bulbapedia page, uh, Sheer Force, uh, what basically what it does is it raises the base power of all damaging moves that have additional effects by 30%, but their additional effects are ignored. So additional effects are something that happens after you attack. Um, it's not something that only happens like a status move. So for instance, moves like Will-O-Wisp or Thunder Wave, or let's take another look at uh, this list of moves. So like Sweet Kiss, Swagger, um, you know, Spores, uh, Yawn. All of these moves are not affected by this item. This item does not prevent you from taking status conditions. It, it only prevents you from taking uh, additional effects. So for instance, Thunder has a 30% chance to inflict paralysis. This will prevent you from taking the paralysis. So obviously the most important thing about the Covert Cloak in competitive Pokemon, if you're doing VGC doubles, is going to be the Fake Out move. So obviously Fake Out is a great move on something like Incineroar or Rillaboom or Kangaskhan when, you know, its Mega Evolution exists. You now your opponent has to guess, do I have Covert Cloak on this, you know, Sweeper or something? So my really frail Pokemon, or even, you know, if Kyogre's in this game, in the VGC format, if I put Covert Cloak on it and I somehow get Tailwind up, um, you can't fake out me to prevent me from sweeping your team. Um, it makes it a lot harder to use the secondary effects to gain the upper hand. In other words, this item is a really sneaky way to maintain momentum. Uh, you're not going to get burned by Scald, you're not going to get randomly paralyzed by Thunderbolt or something, and most importantly, um, if this is still relevant in Gen 9, you're not going to get slowed by Electro Web, you're not going to get slowed by Icy Wind. So if Pokemon like Regilecki are still in the game, we're not going to have to worry about Electro Web if we put the Covert Cloak on that Pokemon. So let's just go through the list of moves with secondary effects, and I'll point out ones that will be impactful if you have the, cons the Covert Cloak. So, first of all, there is Air Slash. If Togekiss is in the game and you want to do the Serene Grace, Serene Grace Air Slash strategy, this will be a great way to avoid ever getting flinched by that. You don't have to worry about getting uh, frozen by Blizzard. Electroweb is going to be an important one. If there's a, a speedy electric trip that gets this in the game, fake out. I don't even have to say anything anymore on that. Hurricane Confusion even, like 30% chance if rain teams are still a big thing, which I anticipate them being. Uh, not getting confused by Hurricane could be important. Icy Wind, as I've mentioned, with the speed drop, you won't get speed dropped. And even mo moves like Moonblast and Muddy Water. Um, are going to not affect your stats like so that 30% chance in both of these moves feels like it happens a lot more often uh, Than it should and it's really nice to not have that accuracy drop I think one move that's really affected by this a lot is mystical fire So if you have a support mon that has mystical fire to try to drop the special attack or even something like struggle bug Which is essentially just a, you know bug snarl uh, none of those moves are gonna be any use against uh, Covert Cloak. One of the most notable ones on this list is going to be Rock Slide, so you can't get Rock Slide flinched. Scald, you can't get burned. Snarl, uh, you know, this, this is if, you know, Evoltal is a thing in a future competitive format, Snarl could be, uh, or even on an Incineroar, Snarl is going to be nerfed if you have this item. There is one move in particular that I think gets absolutely destroyed by this item, and besides Fake Out, I would say that's actually Nuzzle. So Pokemon like Raichu that have Fake Out and Nuzzle um, are just going to be able to do nothing against a Pokemon that has Covert Cloak because Nuzzle becomes a really useless 20 power physical move. It doesn't nerf things like Thunderous which get, you know, Eerie Impulse, Thunder Wave, Swagger. Those are not getting nerfed. Those aren't going anywhere. Lastly, I should mention this is not a substitute for an item like Safety Goggles, which protects you from things like Spore and Rage Powder. So this item does not help you against Amoongus in the slightest. Um, so you know, it, it, you still have to make a good decision about your item, and 
The last thing I'll say about Covert Cloak is this does take up your item slot. You could have something better, like a Focus Sash or a Life Orb. Um, you don't get any of those damage boosting items, so again, like on a Kyogre, you don't get the Mystic Water, you can't Choice Specs yourself, you can't Life Orb. So this does give you um, a choice you have to make in your team building, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how people use this item. So let me know in the comments what you think about this item and how you plan on using it. Uh, thanks for watching.